guys, Penelope Gwen here. If you like this look, then keep on watching! We're going to start with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. We're going to just put that all over and under the lids. Now I'm going to apply this nude from the 207 Meron palette all over the lids. This will act as a nice base for any blending that we do. Now with a fluffy brush, buff the taupe colour from the 207 palette into the crease and a little under the eye. Take Sugar Pill's bulletproof matte black shadow and start to map out the wind shape of our cut crease with it. Follow the shape you usually do for a winged liner, then just connect it up to the crease. After using up excess shadow on the wings, blend the shadow up onto the lid with the same brush. Now take Desert Sand from the Meron Earth palette and pat that onto the lid. Blend this into the black but don't go higher than your crease line. Apply this colour to the lower lash line too. Blending into the black. Now apply Earth's Crust to the middle section of the lids, blending as we go. Apply a bit more black to the outer corners to redefine that area. Lightly blend this in with the brown tones. Now spritz on some NYX finishing spray to the lids. This will help our Meron metallic powder and copper to stick onto the eye. Use a flat brush to apply this to the inner part of the lid. Blend out the bottom lid, but leave the top lid nice and defined. Use Peaches and Cream's Wish Eyeshadow to highlight the eyes. Blend this in with the copper. Now take a thin wet liner brush and dip it into your black eyeshadow to use like liner. You now want to go in and define the edges of the flick and cut the crease. Pat on a little more shadow to blend out the harshness of these lines. Now blend that Wish eyeshadow onto the brow bone to give it a golden sheen. Use Front Row Cosmetics Pen Liner to line the eyes. Keep your line nice and slim along the lash line, then link your wing up to the point we created with eyeshadow. Go slow and steady at this point to avoid any mistakes. Pat on a bit more eyeshadow to mattify the area. Now go ahead and curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm using Ico's I Do Mascara. Shuffle the mascara wand from root to tip for a good application. Then apply MUA's Coal Liner to your waterline. Dab some Glitter Fix by Stargazer onto your inner corner. Then apply 100k glitter from Glitter Injections on top with a small pencil brush. Now apply your favourite set of lashes to your lash line and conceal the lash band with eyeliner. I'm now going to quickly apply my base using Maron's Contour and Highlight Palette, Hard Candy's Glamouflage Concealer, and a Real Techniques sponge. 
I also like to use my fingers to blend out my concealer. Use the sponge to define the wings of your cut crease further. I'm now setting my base with the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette. I tend to use patting and buffing motions when doing this. I'm now contouring my cheekbones and nose with the coolest brown shade from the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. I like to blend out the nose with a powder brush to make it look nice and natural too. I'm also going to highlight my cheekbones, cupid's bow and bridge of the nose with the lightest shimmer shade from that same palette. After adding a bit of colour to my cheeks, I'm going to use those simply spoiled powders to buff into my skin. This will ensure there are no harsh lines. We can now go ahead and line our lips with the NYX Lip Pencil and Prune. This will give our red lipstick a lovely purple undertone. I like to go just outside of my natural lip line to give the appearance of full, kissable lips. Go ahead and fill in your entire lips with this colour. I'm using MUA's Reckless Lip Lacquer for today's red lip. Try to apply this as thinly as possible as this formula can get quite cakey. Just like the liner, go slow and steady with this matte lipstick. If you do mess up though, just correct it with concealer. When you're done with the lips, all you need is a spritz or two of finishing spray and you're good to go.